What's up, fellas? Just got back from the supplement store with a bag full of goodies. No trend, though, unfortunately. Uh, I just got a DM from a guy asking how he can build muscle and lose fat at the same time. Now, despite what people might seem to say online, this is possible. Okay, it is possible. I've done it myself many times. I do it with clients as well. It is significantly harder than just trying to do one or the other. So in this video, I'm going to give you my top six tips that you need to do. You need to make sure you do all of them in order to be able to build muscle and lose fat at the same time. Especially the last one though, because that's the one that people seem to get wrong the most. Okay, now before I get into it, I just want to say that there are three types of people who are going to find this much easier, okay? Now, number one, if you're a beginner, congratulations, you are eligible for newbie gains. You have virgin muscles. You never really worked them before in the gym. You're going to find it much easier to build muscle. You can do a lot wrong and still build muscle, okay? Unless you're James from years ago, I still managed to... Uh, <laughs> Still managed to go to the gym and not build any muscle for a very long time, but that is a topic for another video. Okay, so if you're a beginner, congratulations. You're going to find this a little bit easier. It's still not going to be easy. Number two types of person is if you're enhanced. If you're an enhanced athlete, if you're on those PEDs, if you're on the source, then congratulations. It also is going to be easier for you to build muscle and lose fat at the same time. It's still not going to be easy, though, despite what a lot of people uh, might say. And the third type of person who is going to find this much easier are the genetic phenoms. Maybe you know someone like this. Uh, for example, when I was in school, there, there was this guy called Paul, and he was just shredded. He was just had like basically an eight pack, veins everywhere, all year round, and he used to eat sweets and eat chocolate, and his diet wasn't particularly good. I mean, he was pretty active because we all were, because we were running around the playground and stuff like that. But you know, maybe you know someone like that. They, I wonder what he looks like now, actually, but someone like that just needs to go into the gym, touch away, and they will make gains. But what about the rest of us mere mortals like me and maybe you, whether you're in this category of these three types of people or not, these six tips apply and you're going to make sure you're doing all of them. Okay, so let's dive into it. Tip number one is tracking. Okay, super important that you're tracking because you can make gains without tracking and I made gains without tracking a lot of stuff. But if we're talking about building muscle and losing fat at the same time, it's significantly harder than just trying to do one or the other. Okay, so we have to get super dialed in. And the only way we can get dialed in is if we start tracking. Okay, so what do we need to be tracking? Well, first of all, your weight. Every single morning, when you wake up, go to the bathroom before you drink anything, weigh yourself every single morning and then use an app called Macro Factor. I'll put it on screen somewhere. I'm not affiliated with this app. I just use it. It's relatively cheap. I don't know how much it costs, but every single morning I plug my weight into this app and I can see a nice graph over time. I can see how it's trending and hopefully, you know, it's trending down because that's what I'm trying to do right now. Okay, so you need to be tracking your weight. Also, progress photos. Every single week, you must take photos because you cannot rely on the scale weight alone, okay? The scale never tells the full picture. So, take progress photos, front, back, and side, okay? And you want to do it same place, same time, ideally first thing in the morning, in natural light outside, but not in harsh, harsh sunlight, okay? You want to do it same time, same place, uh, same day of the week. Okay, try and keep all the variables the same. Take progress pictures every single week. Weigh yourself every single day. Okay, and then you will start to get a good uh, sort of accurate um, assessment as to whether we're on the right track or not. And another good thing to do is to create an album on your phone where you put in all your progress photos, okay, so you can flick through them. And you can see your progress over time. This is what I have all my clients do. Uh, we also keep it in a document so we get a nice timeline view of when they started and, you know, how far they've come along. Okay, so definitely be doing progress photos. Also, calories and macros. You've got to be tracking this stuff if you want to build muscle and lose fat at the same time because we have to be extremely dialed in and we need to uh, make sure we're sticking to the next point. So tracking calories and macros is going to help with the with the future tips okay so 
uh, calories and macros. Uh, you can also use the app called Macro Factor as well. It's the same app that I use to track my weight. I track my calories uh, every single day. I put the food that I eat in there throughout the day. And then I know my total every single day. Super easy to use. Uh, I'm not affiliated with it. It's just the app that I prefer to use myself. Okay, lifts. Now, I'm going to preface this by saying I don't track my lifts myself. It, it is not 100% necessary, but if you want to make the most gains possible and you want to give yourself the best chance of being able to build muscle and lose fat at the same time, then you should be tracking your lifts to make sure you progressively overload it, okay? You want to track your sets, your reps, your exercises, uh, and this is just can make sure you're gradually progressing over time because if you're not gradually putting up the weight over time, you're not going to give your body the correct stimulus to be able to build the muscle and grow stronger, okay? And the next one is optional, but I would highly recommend it is tracking sleep. This right here tracks my sleep. It's called an aura ring. Uh, there are a few other options as well. Whoop band, which is something you can wear on your wrist, or um, ultra human. They're three good options for tracking your sleep. Um, sleep is so critical, not just to, for losing fat, but also for building muscle, for recovery, for your overall health and well-being and mood and vitality and productivity. Sleep is number one is the number one thing that you absolutely have to get right. Okay, so I would highly recommend. You know, if you're tracking everything else. It doesn't cost that much extra to track your sleep as well. You may as well get into it. Now that we've got the tracking down, this is going to make the next five tips much easier. But if you're not doing this next tip, you can forget about it because you're not going to lose any fat whatsoever. And that is you need to be in a slight calorie deficit. And I want to emphasize slight here because if you go too low with your calories, yes, you will lose fat. Okay but you're going to kill your training intensity in the gym, okay? So your workouts eventually will start to suffer. And then because you don't have the intensity, you're not going to be training at a level that you need to, to be able to build the muscle, okay? So you don't want to go too low with your calories, but also if you eat above maintenance, uh, you're not going to lose any fat whatsoever. Even if you eat at maintenance, uh, eventually you're going to build more muscle. So your maintenance will go up. And if you keep your calories the same, then eventually you might get away with eating at maintenance as long as you don't change it. But I don't want to go over your head here. It's safest to aim for a slight calorie deficit, okay? And we need to be super dialed in here. I would say aim for around 300 calorie deficit, okay? That is going to ensure that we're losing the fat, okay? But if you're not doing tip number three, you're going to find it so much harder to build muscle. This is a bit of a controversial one, but tip number three, is to use carbs, use carbohydrates, okay? I know a lot of people talk about, oh, you don't need carbs, blah, 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 carbs are not necessary. Look, I've tried every single diet. I've tried no carb, I've tried high carb, and I will say that carbs are enhance your performance, okay? There's no two, it's not up for debate. All the top athletes are using carbohydrates, and if you wanna build muscle, they're gonna, massively help with that okay because they're going to fuel your intensity in the gym you're going to keep your muscles full they're going to aid with recovery how many carbs you eat well that's for a future video that i'll make uh, specifically about that but i would say a good general rule of thumb is 60 to 70 percent so the majority of the carbohydrates that you're going to consume throughout the day you want them pre and post workout you want them around your workout it's going to fuel your workout it's going to fuel re your recovery uh, I would say that's the best uh, tip I have for using carbohydrates. Okay, tip number four. Now, you can have all the carbs in the world. You can be tracking. You can be in a slight calorie deficit. But if you do not do tip number four, you will build zero muscle, okay? And that is to actually train properly. It surprises me how many people get this wrong. You know, I did some Instagram polls recently, uh, and I asked people what do they struggle with the most. Nutrition was number one sleep was number two and training was number three and i thought huh that's funny because whenever i go to the gym i see a lot of people in there they just don't make any progress okay they're not making any progress they're going in there they're doing the same workout they did last week and the week before and the week before that and 
The reason why I believe is because there's just simply not training properly. Okay, so how do you train properly? Well, I have made previous videos on how to actually lift weights to build muscle, but to give you the short answer, there's two things you need to be doing. Number one is you need to correctly execute the exercise. Okay, so if we're doing a bicep curl, that means we need to be isolating the bicep when we're doing the bicep curl. We're not swinging it up like this and using other muscles, we're isolating the, the target muscle in question and we're actually contracting the, the proper muscle and we're doing full range of motion, okay? And also on the concentric and eccentric, there's four parts to every movement, but I don't wanna to go too in depth on this, okay? Basically, you need to make sure that you've got the exercise execution down. And then once you've got it down, we need to increase the intensity, which means we need to put the weight up. We need to make it harder. If you're just learning an exercise, do not start pushing yourself. It's a recipe for disaster because you haven't learned the exercise yet. You don't know what feels right and what doesn't feel right. But once you've got the exercise execution down, you need to put the intensity up. Okay. And simply, most people are not training at intensity to grow new muscle tissue. Okay. So, don't be a pussy, actually train your muscles properly. Because if you don't, you may as well just stay at home. You're wasting your time, okay? So now we've got you training properly, you're eating your carbs, you're in a slight calorie deficit, you're tracking everything. Tip number five, you absolutely must do this, especially now that you're training properly, is you need adequate rest, okay? Now, this is gonna vary from person to person because it is very ind individualistic, but I would say, these tips are going to pretty much apply to everyone across the board, okay? Number one is to take two rest days per week. So on your rest days, I don't want you lifting any weights. Ideally, I don't want you playing any sports either. Uh, anything that's low intensity, walking is fine. I encourage that you should be walking every single day. Uh, walking is absolutely great for many reasons. If it's a low intensity sport, no problem. But if it's a high intensity sport, anything that's going to put extra stress on your body, you want to avoid, to be honest, because we need as much rest as possible. That's where we're going to build the muscle. And because we're in a slight calorie deficit, we need as much rest as humanly possible. Okay. So two rest days per week, definitely do not try training six days a week and doing this. You're going to find it much harder. Avoid doing too much cardio and other sports, daily walks, high quality sleep. If you track in, this is going to make it much easier to make sure you're getting high quality sleep. It's not just about sleeping longer but also making sure you're getting high quality sleep. Okay, and manage stress levels. Now this, uh, I'll probably just make a future video on this because this is a big topic, but if you're extremely stressed in your personal life or in work life, this is gonna make it much harder as well. So we wanna keep your cortisol levels low. We wanna keep you in a calm, rest and digest state. And this is going to make it much easier for, be, for you to be able to build the muscle and lose the fat, okay? And finally, the last tip. This is the tip where most people, well, most people aren't doing the, the next five tips, okay? But even if you do the next five, you're doing the previous five tips, if you're not doing this one, you can forget it, okay? And this is where a lot of people go wrong when they try and do this, is they're just not patient enough. You have to be patient because when you just try and build muscle or when you just try and lose fat, the results are much quicker and the more obvious because you're either getting bigger or you're getting leaner, okay? When you try and build muscle and lose fat at the same time, when well, you're trying to do a bit of both, so it takes longer to actually see, usually it takes longer to actually see any noticeable progress. And the progress is what kind of motivates you to continue. So if you're, if you're doing a program and you've been doing it for like one month, two months, and you're not really seeing much progress, I mean, if you're tracking everything, that is another reason why you should be doing tip number one tracking because it makes it much easier. But you need to be patient, okay, and trust the process because what you're trying to do here is much harder and it's going to take a little bit longer to actually see noticeable progress uh, if you're not super dialed in with your tracking and stuff. But just be patient. Understand that you're not going to see immediate results. Don't quit. And it's not even just quitting. I think a lot of people just stop believing in themselves or in the progress. And even that alone, that just that negative mindset, is going to stop you from lifting properly. It's going to stop you from eating properly. It's going to stop you from, 
your head's just got to be in the right place. Okay. So just don't even mentally quit. Even if you're physically going through the motions, don't mentally quit. Understand that Rome wasn't built in a day and neither will you. Okay, guys. Okay. So this is my top six tips for how you can lose fat and gain muscle at the same time. Don't be discouraged. Okay. If you've watched all these six tips, all you need to do now is take action. Come back to this video. Make sure you do all these six tips. And if after three months, you have made no progress, send me a message on Instagram or X. I'll try and help you out for free if I can. But if you actually want to take this to the next level, you want to get in the best shape of your life, uh, physically, mentally, let's get your body right. Let's get your mind right. Let's turn you into an absolute beast. I do coaching. You can head to jamesfreeland.com uh, if you're interested in that. And other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. It's been a pleasure and I'll talk to you soon.